We're now looking at an example of our RRH01 clamping head. This head assembly clamps the drum by applying hydraulic pressure to the outside. It works great with a range of steel, plastic and fiberboard drums, but because we're pushing on the drum, if we have a particularly soft drum, like this L-ring plastic, it can push it and compress it, and then we can get some slippage as it deforms. These attachments that we're going to show you now are designed specifically for these plastic L-ring drums. First of all, we have these two front gates. The front gates mean that when we rotate the drum into the horizontal, so it's side on, should the drum compress, it cannot slip or lozenge out of the front, front of the head. We also have these two vertical supports that support the top rim of the drum. And this means that if the drum is compressed and should, be, uh, should lozenge into a different shape, then it's not going to escape out of the bottom of the pads. So there are two methods of extra security that are only needed when handling these L-ring plastic drums that are rather soft and slippery. We take a front band section, bring it in, we've got holes in it, we push it in place and slot it in. We then take our clips and put one into the two pins. So first clip in place and then the second clip in place. So that's now secure, ready to use. Then take our second one and another two clips, bring it around to the other side. Again, lift it in place, put it on through the two pins. One R clip in place. And the second one. So that's our two front gates in place. We then take our rim clamp devices, these support the drum and prevent it sliding down if it's a slippy plastic drum. Place it in between the pads. We then take our pin, get it to the right height, and then once we're happy, slot it through the hole, and that's ready to go. And we get a second one and just repeat the process on the other side. So we set the height to match the other one. And there we go. We've got our front gates, which will support the drum in the horizontal, and our top rim clamps to prevent any slippage of the drum. To show you this clamping head and the pads in action, we'll lift this L-ring plastic drum. We need to lift it up and lower it down over the drum because we've got our front gates on that prevent us driving straight into the drum. So we lift up. Once we're high enough, we can push the unit forwards to encompass over the top of the drum. I walk around the side of the unit and I just want to check that we're nice and centred. So I want the drum to be in the middle, centre of the pads and to be clear either side. We can then lower down. We lower down to about the middle position of the drum. We can then press our clamp button. Once we're clamped and the needle's in the green segment, we can lift up. We push the unit forwards so it touches the side of the vessel. We can then rotate forwards. This drum's particularly full, so we've got 200 litres in here. Now all the operations have stopped, so it's safe to walk forwards to open the valve on the unit. So I'll walk around this side. We've got a tap here, so I can open this up. We do various options for this unit, so we can do it as an ATEX unit, which is air powered, but we can also do electric units and units with band assemblies that secure around the drum as well. Once we're happy we've got all the material we need, we can close the valve and bring the drum back down to the floor.
So we close our valve, bring the unit back and return to the vertical. Now we can go get another product and decant that into the vessel as well.